friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nora and on today's video, we are finishing up my New Orleans city in the Glade Trust. This biome was definitely one of the hardest places I've done a city in on Disney Dreamlight Valley, but I hope that today's video brings you a ton of inspiration. I feel like the biggest challenge with this city build today was just getting a functional layout. Not only is this biome extremely narrow to build in, but also the multiple ponds make it kind of more difficult to build a city in. But I think we definitely captured the vibe of my home pretty nicely in this build. As somebody who lives in New Orleans, this was just really fun and rewarding to build for y'all. So I do hope that this video brings you a ton of inspo. And of course, let me know your favorite spot in the comment section below. One of my biggest things though with this build is I'm quite sad I couldn't fit in my dream building for this city, which was the Haunted Mansion. So I'll probably save this for the build that I have in mind on Eternity Isle. But if I could have fit that into this build, I feel like it would have been absolutely perfect. Originally, I was going to keep it in this build today. As you can see, it's kind of in the distance right now where I'm building, but I ended up swapping it for Tiana's Palace. However, I feel like if you swapped out maybe a couple of other buildings that I put into this biome, you could probably still make it work at the original spot it's in right now. Anyways, today's video is going to be extremely productive. We are going to be getting so much done, including tons of filler builds too. So I hope you all enjoy watching the process of me turning the Glade of Trust into a New Orleans inspired city and I'll see you at the end of this video when everything is completely finished.
So after a few final touches, here's how the completely Glade of Trust New Orleans inspired city turned out. Also, I just wanted to quickly apologize near Mother Gothel's tree. I actually had this recorded, but my game crashed, which resulted in corrupting the footage I was recording while making this transitional area. But all I did was go with something a little bit more natural for the Bayou house. Even though I couldn't fit in a few ideas that I really wanted this city to have, I still think it captures the vibe of my hometown so well. I'm just really excited with how everything turned out and I think that it's also really easy to walk through but still decorated enough as well. Something else I really wanted to include in my city was a little area that looks like a spot that you would get ready to go on a swamp tour. That is something that a lot of people do when they come to visit New Orleans is go to these amazing swamp tours. If you ever come to Louisiana, I would recommend checking out Honey Island. It's my absolute favorite to go to. So I just really wanted this city build to have a spot that kind of reflected my favorite swamp tour to go on. And of course, this is completely optional if you don't want to include it into your build, but I think it does make a great filler, especially if you don't know what to do with the rivers. Overall though, I'm really excited with how everything turned out. I think this was one of my favorite series to ever do on my channel. It was just really fun and also quite a challenge. I didn't think I was going to be able to pack so much detail and buildings into the Glade at Trust, so I'm still shocked that we were able to make this happen. And of course, like always, I hope that this entire video brought you a ton of inspiration. As usual, before today's video ends, I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the world to me. Thanks again for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video. Thank you.